Planning efficient runs in the forever winter involves identifying which missions can be completed simultaneously. There's a nice grouping of quests in the Elephant Mausoleum that you can knock out all at once, and you are guaranteed to come back with an entire inventory full of medical supplies. The three quests are Whispers Beneath the Thunder, A Light in the Dark, and Med Bay Access. These quests are basically all right next to each other, and if your Europa faction rating is high enough, you can spawn very close to them. You'll need to get lucky to get all three of these quests at once. My footage here is from two different runs spliced together, so you'll see my gun change. Also, don't forget to bring cigarettes with you like I did, or you'll have to find them in the mission by killing soldiers. Start at the sewers location and take an immediate right. If you go all the way down this tunnel, the med bay will be on the right near the end. The first thing you want to do is scope out the area and figure out what enemies are nearby. If there's a Yoruskin stalker, or big angry doggo as he's better known, uh, just bail, it's not even worth the risk. Otherwise, kill any patrolling enemies in the area to give yourself time to hack the med bay and space to kite the enemies from the hangar. Make note of which doors are open and which are closed, just in case you need to run away from something. The patrol I saw seems to have moved on, so I have backstabbed the remaining guard. I think the sound for this animation is glitched. Then I realized that you can backstab the guard on the other side of the med bay door through the wall. So I do that. If I understand this correctly, opening the med bay door requires you to successfully hack both of the consoles on either side of the door. To do this, you match the symbols with their warped counterparts. If you're about to run out of time, or if the symbol you need just isn't there, which is a bug I have encountered, then back out to reset the timer. You can see at the bottom it says Terminal B Unlocked. After you also unlock Terminal A, the door will open. Uh, I was actually so surprised by this that I misclicked and fired my gun. Just opening the door is enough to complete the quest, but raiding the med bay itself is very lucrative. I think when you open the door it summons a bunch of cyborgs to your location, because I don't know where these guys came from. Uh, this one room, and really this whole area, has more health items in it than any other place I've seen in this whole game. Actually, I should have brought more ammo on these missions because bullets are much harder to find in this area than med packs are. The guy who wants cigarettes is in a room right next to the med bay. If you stand directly in front of him and drop the cigarettes on the ground, it'll complete the quest. I was standing slightly too far away the first time, so I had to pick him up and do it again. And now to rescue the civilians in the hangar. Unfortunately for me, there are drones in here, and I did not bring a good enough gun to reliably deal with them. So I decide to kite the soldiers guarding the hostages back up into the sewers. Uh, make sure you keep checking behind you when you do this, because enemy patrols will use this path to go from the sewers to the hangar. Once the soldiers are gone, just run up to the civilians, tag all of them, and then run away. Once you exit the hangar, you can pretty much just run all the way to the extraction point. There's a lot of empty space on this side of the map, so skirting enemies isn't too difficult. Here's what my inventory looked like after the cigarettes and civilians run. And here's what my inventory looked like after the medbay run. Happy hunting, scavs!